this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this video, we will crochet the hound's tooth dishcloth. And where does that name hound's tooth come from? Uh, I found by definition it's a two-toned textile pattern uh, originating from Scotland and characterized by these broken jacks. And the canine sounding name of the pattern hound's tooth was actually inspired by the uneven shape of a hound dog's teeth. So that's the story behind the name of this print. And it is easy to make. It is only single crochets and double crochets alternating uh, and using the two yarns. And my dish cloth measures about 18 inches long. And ten and a half inches wide and adding this uh, little loop up here it's going to be a nice way to hang the towel and I'm using Lily sugar and cream 100% cotton yarn it is medium size 4 this uh, color is called a crew and it has four ounces about 200 yards in one ball and one ball is enough contrast color is red it's also the same sugar and cream and my crochet hook is 5.5 millimeters and let's get started and I start with my white yarn make a slip knot and now chain 31 so it's easy to adjust this pattern we need even number uh, of uh, chains plus one for turning and each row now starts with single crochet stitch ends with double crochet stitch and the first single crochet insert hook in second chain from hook make single crochet in the next chain make double crochet in the next single and in the next double and that's how it repeats single double and before that last double crochet let's take hook out and join the contrast color so make a slip knot take hook out of that now start your last double crochet as usual yarn over pull through first two loops and now insert your hook through the slip knot of contrast color and pull that one through last two loops and starting the second round first make a chain then turn and here we're going to bring our first color yarn along and keep it within the stitches so I place it here and now we need to start with a single crochet in that last double crochet we just made which is here the loops are here 
and keep that first yarn inside the stitch make single crochet so here you see this is our next single crochet we will make double crochet in it again keeping the first yarn inside the stitch and next we make single crochet in the next double crochet then double crochet in next single crochet always keep the first yarn inside your stitches And the last double crochet on second round so we do the same start the stitch pull through first two loops and then bring your first yarn I'm gonna switch it here on front of the other and pull through last two loops with that Then chain to start the third round, gonna turn it and here we are now going to keep that second yarn, my red, inside stitches. And right here, this is my last double crochet, I'm going to make my first single crochet. And now in the next single crochet make double crochet. Again, single crochet and then double. So this is easy to repeat and you're already starting to see the pattern. And repeating these uh, rows with two colors, I have now made 12 rows, uh, six uh, red stripes. I'm going to make one more white and one more red to have total seven red stripes and then we'll continue differently. And at the end of the 14th round, make the last double crochet, finish it with white main color. And now you can uh, cut off your contrast color. I already cut off my red. We're going to make next 20 rows with main color my white but exactly the same stitch chain one and turn and you can bring that uh, contrast color tail with you within stitches so then you don't need to weave it in later just just exactly like we did before so the stitch is the same single crochet in each double crochet, double crochet in each single crochet. 
only now for next 20 rows we're not changing colors just do it with your main color and after 20 rows with main color i'm going to continue with my contrast color and make uh, this part again 14 rows so seven stripes with red and this last double crochet I don't finish I made a slip knot with my red I'm going to pull it through the loops and now we continue as before make a chain and start your first single crochet then double And 14 more rows you will finish with main color and then we can make the edge and I finished all my rows will now cut off my second color and the last double crochet on my last round I'll finish with my main color and I'm not cutting off uh, that one. I uh, will now continue making the edge. And chain one. We're first going to work this long side. So turn your work. And it's going to be single crochet stitches. First one goes in that double crochet so I inserted hook through that stitch right here the last double crochet we made and the next single crochet will go in this side space of the next row the contrast color row next one again insert hook through that next double crochet with our main on the main color row next single crochet will go in the end space of the next contrast color row and so forth so we're making one single crochet in end of each row And I did 14 single crochets, one for each row. And now here, next make 10 stitches, same way. One single crochet in end space of each row. Two, three, four, five six seven eight nine and ten now i'm going to make the handle and we'll chain fifteen three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And now I want to 
slip stitch in that single crochet inserting hook through that stitch below the chain to attach it and now I also want to make another row of single crochets into these into each chain so just single crochet in each and when done with these single crochets in each chain I'm going to slip stitch again in that same stitch where the last single crochet was made in and then start your single crochets again in end space of each row as before After 10 single crochets here, continue the single crochets here the same way and then we'll do the this corner together. So I did 13 single crochets on this part. Here's my first beginning row. In here I'm going to single crochet 2 for the corner. Now turning I'm going to now slip stitch in each of these foundation chain loops. So I'm not doing single crochets here, but slip stitches. Until the next corner. So I slip stitched in all the loops but the last one so in this stitch I want to do my two single crochet crochets for the corner and two and then turn and make the other long side same way just single crochet in end space of each row so one in the white one in red and again I did 20 single crochets here in this part I have made now 13 and here's the last row in this space again make two single crochets for corner turn and again on this sh short side we'll do just slip stitches And to finish, so here this is my chain that I began this edge with. I'm going to insert my hook through this, make the last slip stitch, and that's it for that last corner. Cut off yarn, fasten off. And now go ahead and weave in all your ends. And here is my finished uh, towel. So I hope you enjoyed crocheting this uh, houndstooth uh, stitch with me to make your own dish towel. You will find the written pattern on my blog. Link is in video description box.
Thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting.